today is followers control my day. So it was a $400 Costco haul. On that area, you can see. <laughs> because he's been asking about like moisturizer and stuff. Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. It's like the perfect little winter pho meal. voted for Starbucks, which Trevor loved, although I think you were one of the people who voted anyway, so it went your way. So we are going to pick up Starbucks right now, and we also have not been to Costco in months, like over six months? I'd say six months. Yeah, it's been a while, so we've been saying we wanted to go, so we're going to head over there, do some grocery shopping, also see if, you know, there's any Thing for Christmas over there that we could use for someone. So I'll do a little haul for you guys when we get back. Thanks, babe. All right. In case you guys are curious, I got the creme brulee latte. It's really good. I tried it, what was that, a few weeks ago? The day that we left for Cancun and it was so good. My favorite of the new holiday drinks for sure. All the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside, hear the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you This time of year Is a time to cheer Let our love so it was a $400 Costco haul. <laughs> Almost 450. Almost $450. We have some presents in here. So we can't show you everything since some things are presents for people who might watch. But we can go into at least like the food stuff. So got Costco roast chicken, of course, a classic. I was so sad. They're sold out of the pesto right now. That's like what I went in for. I also got some of the green pea snack crisps. Topo Chico was much cheaper there. This is the hard Topo Chico, obviously. We made sure that we would never ever run out of Clorox wipes. And then we got two of these storage bins for the Christmas decor. They've been in like regular cardboard boxes over the last couple years. So we figured this year we'd upgrade the storage. So we got two AMC movie tickets. Perfect, we figured just an extra gift in case we forgot someone. Plus another $20. Yeah, and it also comes with an extra $20. If we don't use it as a gift, we can use it. I got a sweatshirt for my cousin, a ton of blueberries for Trevor, batteries. We love getting batteries at Costco. It's such a freaking good deal. It's like a fourth of the price. Yeah. Pasta, frozen berries, ciabatta buns. We got a bunch of vegan butter for Trevor, Tillamook cheese for me. 
and then he said he might have a couple, but he can't have too much. Christmas cookies to bring on Christmas. Frozen shrimp, tons of OJ. These are for Spark. These are gonna be little stocking stuffers for him, but they're like little meat sticks. And this is like my favorite deal of it all. We got this black truffle Italian extra virgin olive oil. This is gonna be so good on pastas and stuff. Got the impossible burger patties for Trevor. And then this truffle and Parmigiano Reggiano ravioli. And then of course toilet paper and paper towels. And then there's one more gift, but we can't show you obviously because they watch. All right, but that is it for our $400 Costco haul. A little bit extra, but whatever and then i also got a little fun delivery that goes with yesterday's dispensary run but i got a few refills of can i freaking love can it's so good our dispensary said that they are probably no longer going to be stocking it anymore so i just ordered straight from them and it was free delivery actually and if you pay with cash it's like even cheaper so that's what i did i got the lemon lavender because i know my sister likes that i did this mainly for christmas but also we're going to keep half here for us and then this i think they said is like a limited edition it's a yuzu elderflower i do love elderflower so we're gonna give that a try and this one's limited as well for the holidays i got two of these lime basils so yeah that's our little can haul to go with everything but for one of the polls i asked you guys to pick out spartacus's outfit today and the christmas sweater won out over the cable knit sweater but i just got these new christmas pjs yesterday for him they're actually like dinosaur Christmas PJs for dogs. So we're gonna go with this instead of a Christmas sweater because this is too cute. Oh my goodness, don't you just look so festive and cozy. Look at this. And your Christmas dinosaur PJs. Wow, you're so handsome and festive. I love you. I love you. So we are checking on Sparts, or Sparts. <laughs> Your Spartacus! We're checking on Trevor's day one Botox results. Go for it. <laughs> the forehead, I'm starting to see it. It's not going as deep as it was before in the center. Mm. So, already starting. Are you excited? <laughs> mm. I don't think I've done mine, but I mean, I barely had any to start with. So, I, like I said, it's going to be minor what you'll see change there. Same mom same with oh my goodness are you all snuggled in oh same with my crow's feet i didn't actually have crow's feet on like trevor so like on that area you can see <laughs> i love trevor but the main thing that we'll be able to see a lot of progress on with the meat is my chin it's still dimpling but these are deep so i would expect that to take like a day or two to start being able to see any changes or results but i'm gonna go ahead and head out of here to go get lunch god my hair looks so bad right now but yeah i'm gonna go get lunch right now i had you guys vote between costco chicken bake or in and out and much to my chagrin today you guys voted for in and out which is fine i love in and out but when i got to costco and i could smell the chicken bake i was really sad that i wasn't getting that for lunch but that's fine We'll probably go to Costco again in like a month or two and I'll get it then. But off to In-N-Out to go grab us some food. All right, so guess who's the idiot who forgot her camera at home? So, on my phone, but on my way to In-N-Out, I've been trying to decide which In-N-Out to go to, but I've realized both are gonna be terrible. I don't know why. I mean, in general, you know, like In-N-Outs tend not to be built in the greatest spot for the type of wines that they get for the drive through but the two that are by us in particular are awful. One is literally right off of a freeway, so when the line backs up, it backs up into a freeway entrance, which is fantastic, and then the other one is set in this really, really tiny lot that like loops around, so the line is always, no matter what time of the day it is, it's freaking in the street. So I think no matter what I do, a little bit screwed with the line, but it's all good. I actually haven't had in and out in so long because of that reason, because the two in and outs by us are so inconvenient to get to and wait in line at, but I have missed it, I do have to say. Family and friends.
friends have a Christmas. Because you were wondering, I get well done fries. And then I also get a grilled cheese with a whole grilled onion, ketchup and stuff spread with an extra toasted bun. But what I like to do with this is I actually take this out and I use the boat for my ketchup. And then I do salt and pepper in here, shake it up and just dip away. And it's so freaking good. So if you haven't tried well done fries, game changer in and out, definitely get on it. Oh, and then of course I also got a small lemon up. Salt and pepper's in. Gotta get that even spread of salt and pepper. And then, just to make it easy on myself because I know I'm not gonna be trying to save any of this. I'm gonna eat it all in one sitting. I just go ahead and rip off the top so that it's easier to grab. And then I have my little ketchup boat here. Mm, that's how you do in and out fries, you guys. Yum. I haven't had this in so long. So sorry. Hold grilled onion, you guys. I'm telling you, that's the move. It's so freaking good. Mm. All right. I'm not mad you guys didn't vote for the chicken bake. This is fire. <laughs> so I totally realized I had forgotten that I was supposed to show you guys what was in this Boohoo order from yesterday. I apologize. Dropping the ball there. I don't think I'm going to do an actual full try on just because I'm lazy and I'm cold. <laughs> Although that would warm me up. But first thing I got, you guys know right now, I got Trevor and I matching Christmas sweaters that we're going to wear on Christmas Eve. He's both excited and upset about it, truly. I just thought it would be hilarious and Michelle also voted that we do it, so gotta do it. And also, uh, this jacket that I've literally wanted for like a year since last December, and I didn't get it then, and they still had it in stock, so I was like, perfect. That's my sign, I'll get it now. But it's basically a black denim jacket lined with fur, and it's so cute. This one I can't try on, actually. I just don't want to have to change my shirt or my pants, so. I'm so cold right now, it's like ridiculous. I'm gonna have to kneel so you guys can see this. Okay, there we go. Here's the jacket, really cute. Be a good layering piece. This wouldn't be like my only outer layer because it is freezing in California for absolutely no reason. I live here for the warmth. Where the fuck is the warmth? I'm paying taxes out of the ass and it's not warm. I'm pissed. But anyways, what's the jacket? And then, ooh, this is gonna be so comfy. So you guys, I realized the next vlog I think you guys are gonna watch is the second to last vlog. And it's cause I'm gonna combine two days. I'm gonna combine the 23rd and the 24th into one vlog. So that's kind of crazy. But anyways, moving along. I got this sweatshirt that looks so cozy and comfy. I'll probably be dressed in this all day tomorrow, but it's like an Oakland sweatshirt. My mom's side of the family is in the Bay area, so represent and lastly i'm gonna wear this because like i said i'm cold this is kind of like what prompted me to pull this out because i was like is there some like a sweater down here that i can put on and there absolutely is but our place is so crowded right now from the freaking just from all the gifts i'm gonna start wrapping i asked you guys to decide on a christmas activity for me for today and you guys thankfully voted on wrapping so I'm gonna get on that as soon as I warm myself up. I got this hoodie. It's this gray exposed seam hoodie, which I thought was kind of a cool little design element. So I'm gonna get into this. Even with a turtleneck on, I am freezing. I feel like this isn't even enough, but I'll just like let me adjust to this for right now. But there you go. Cause I'm freaking cold. Oh, there's no pockets in the front. Oh, well, that's a letdown. There's no pockets at all? Ugh. It's fine, it's fine. At least I'm warm. I'm in my happy place, wrapping presents. That is not sarcasm for anyone who's new here. I love wrapping presents. It's one of my favorite Christmas activities. But starting out with Trevor's present, this box is not an indicator of what it actually is. As you guys know, this is the same box that he used to wrap my presents. So we're just, you know, repurposing. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Wow, my first present of the year to wrap. I'm so happy. I have to get his out of the way. 
because he's at the gym right now with our friend. They've actually been sitting out in the open. He just, I know he's not the most observant person, so I knew that I could get away with that. <laughs> All right. I'm so sad I couldn't find this paper design that I'm using right now anywhere this year. This is my favorite paper from last year. Sure to crease the edges nice and tight. How's this invisible tape? You can completely see this. That's what I get from my, for buying tape from Five Below. Oops. Getting it super tight. This one will get a little mini pleat. I don't have a ton left in paper. Got a little mini sliver of a crease. Not a crease. Fold over. Whatever. I can't think right now. Multitasking is not my friend today. Beautiful. Not done yet. I'm going to wrap Trevor's other present right now, but shh. He just came home, but he said he'd stay upstairs. I can't find the ribbon that I want to use on this one, so I need to track that down but along with picking up his present in order to get a little free sample bundle I also got myself something his present is from Kiehl's I got him like a full skincare set because he's been asking about like moisturizer and stuff oh gosh oh gosh <laughs> all over the place but for myself I got the ginger leaf and hibiscus firming mask figured that this would be good to go along with my Botox, keep everything firm and nice and tight. Then for the samples, they gave me this Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum. So see how I like that. If I like it, I'll get the big size because I am looking for a new serum. They also gave me this Turmeric and Cranberry Seed Energizing Radiance Mask. This comes in like this like orange tub. Okay, I can't open that right now. I'll deal with that another day. And finally, I think that this is their Ultra Repair Cream. Yeah, Ultra Facial Repair Cream. Everybody loves that cream so much. Those are the goodies that I got, but here's his box, but I am gonna wrap the outer part of it. And I wanna use one of the new wrapping papers. Yeah, I've got so, so many presents I have to wrap tonight. Well, I don't have to deal with these all tonight. I'm just getting started. But I have a lot of presents for us. He's literally not going to know what the hell this is when he opens it. Because Trevor is not skincare savvy. So even if he had seen this box, I wasn't that worried. I was like, why is it uneven? It's because there's a little bow inside. It's fine. This is like so therapeutic for me. I love, love wrapping presents. And we go with this birch ribbon for his. I'm so glad we have a coffee table this year because this is making it so much easier than wrapping on the freaking ground. You guys, I'm telling you, use ribbon, like wired ribbon and stuff, instead of freaking regular stick-on bows and stuff and it'll just, Elevate your presence so much and fluff the bow. Cute. Look at how much cuter that is than if I had done just this on it. You know, like this. Eh. This. Wow. Might cost a touch more to go with ribbon, but it the freaking impact it has is amazing. Then labels. There was one year where. I was like on a roll with wrapping presents and neither of us were paying attention. And I wrapped like six presents and we didn't label them and we were like, oh crap, who do these go to? That was stressful. <laughs> Someday I'm gonna upgrade all of these labels to like the kind that you tie, but we've got an excess of them. So gotta use them all up first. But done, cute. I found the ribbon, cute, right? No, I didn't. Damn it. That's fine. So then we just do this. Cute. 
really want to attach this little flower in the middle and then to secure this so it doesn't slide I'm just going to take a big tape loop and pop it underneath one side since this is a longer box, I'm doing two, but if it was shorter, I would just do one of these in the center. There we go. There's Trevor's second present. Cute. Oh, this one came out really good. I'm happy with that. So I've been wrapping away. Here's some examples. What I've been doing, it's been a couple of hours because I decided for some reason to go ahead and make custom bows on these gifts. That took forever, but they're made out of the same wrapping paper that I used, so they match. But that project took a while. I'm not hungry right this second, but I could probably use food within the next hour. I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner going. I asked you guys whether I should cook or order out, and order out one. So I am actually really craving pho. I haven't had pho in so long. So I'm gonna get some chicken pho. I like to substitute in egg noodle. I'm just not a huge rice noodle fan. I'll eat it if the place doesn't have egg noodle, but I did look up this place. According to Yelp, they have egg noodles, so I'm just gonna do that and see how it goes. But go ahead, pop my order in here. Let me make sure Trevor doesn't want something. But he is going out with the guys tonight, so I'd imagine that they're eating, but I'll just make sure. All right, nothing for Trevor. They are indeed having dinner together. My pho should be here, looks like in the next 40 minutes or so. So that is perfect timing. I'm gonna take this sleepy guy out in his Christmas PJs. And then I think I need to do a little cleaning up here and then probably go ahead and get my chore for the day done. I asked you guys for my chore today whether I should vacuum or do laundry and laundry won out, which actually was really, really good because I'm like running out of pants. So good looking out guys. So we'll get a little laundry going after I walk this guy. Little change of plans. My pho came earlier than expected, so I'm just gonna go ahead and eat. And then I'll do some laundry, which, like I said, is absolutely much needed. But did I ever tell you guys my order? I got chicken pho with egg noodle. Yeah, I did tell you. But it's my order if I could undo this knot. Okay. Not even gonna make the effort. Oh my god, it looks so good. Actually, should I just eat it? Eh, no, I wanna transfer it. Oh, they gave me two bowls. Egg noodle. Just a personal preference of mine. Then, oh, lovely. There's only onions, cilantro, and green onions in here. Perfect. Sometimes they do like jalapenos and stuff in here, so like, I have to pick it out. Oh wait, no, that's in this. Okay, yeah, this is the thing I gotta pick stuff out of. So I don't like bean sprouts. I'm just not a fan. But I love, is this basil? I always forget. But I love the basil in my pho. Oh, there's no hoisin sauce? Why do you serve pho without hoisin sauce? I'm confused. Do we have hoisin sauce? Damn. If not, I can just do soy sauce. That works for me. Oh my god, this broth is so hot. I can feel it. Poison sauce! I'm like, this lasts for forever, right? Because I haven't used this in over a year. Well, if I'm sick tomorrow, we know why. It's because I used bad hoisin sauce. I love a lot of salt, so generous helping in here. This is like the perfect meal because the weather has just been the shittiest lately. And by the shittiest, I mean just so cold, which like is nice on one hand because I finally get to wear winter stuff. But on the other hand, I'm just, I'm not built for this. It's too cold. Wow, that looks so good. Look at that, you guys. It's like the perfect 
little winter pho meal. Yum. Oh my gosh, the pho was so good. Please don't mind all of the wrapping supplies. I've just exploded the living room. But the pho was so good that hit the spot. But I wanted to try this new flavor from Can. This is a cannabis drink. It's very, very light. It just kind of gives you like a relaxed feeling. But this is the lime basil. I haven't seen this one yet. And I don't know if it's just for holiday or what. But I'm a fan of lime. I'm a fan of basil. So I figured I'd give this one a try. Oh, that's really nice. That's super refreshing. Nice little way to have a relaxing night. I'm also watching The Holiday, so a relaxing holiday night. But I think in a minute here, I'm gonna get my laundry going just so that I can be at least a little bit productive. So it's the end of the night and I fell off because, oh, whoops. We had a huge disaster with laundry. Basically, the first thing I went to go wash was our comforter and blankets off of the bed. And I put the comforter in one and two blankets in the other. We only have two washers here. We have a communal wash. And both of those filled up like a third of the way, then just shut off. And we spent like three bucks trying to see if I could get it to restart. So at that point, the comforter and the blankets were soaked in water, like dripping. So each of them had to go in the dryer for two to three cycles so that they weren't wet, so that I could have something dry to sleep with tonight. So now it's four o'clock in the morning. Just finished drying off the blanket and the comforter. I have another one here that's hanging that is still soaked. Like, do you see that? Do you hear that? Yeah, it's so bad. So that'll probably take like two or three days to dry, which is fantastic. I'm scared to put this one back in the dryer because when I did, it was kind of smoking, but maybe once it's damp, it'll be better. But anyways, I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed. Hoping tomorrow will be better. Tomorrow's vlog is actually going to be two days. But anyways, I'm going to go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the next one. And with joy and laughter, let us make memories that stay forever. It's Christmas.